Hello everybody and welcome to a video showing you how to interpret the focusing scales on a lens. What on earth do these even mean? All right, so many of you have probably seen something that looks like this on a lens that you own. These are especially common on manual focus lenses, be it brand new ones that are being made to be shot in aperture priority mode on mirrorless cameras, or vintage lenses like this one, which is a 19, mid 1970s, Vivitar 28 millimeter. So these scales take a lot of different uh, uh, looks. There's different designs to them, but they all can be read in the same basic way. You'll see down here there's an aperture scale. It goes from f2.5 to f22 on this lens. Those numbers will vary based on your specific lens, whether it's something like f3.5 to f16, for instance, or something else. This is your aperture setting, of course. Your focusing scales here, you might notice on your lens, have the exact same numbers going away from your focus point in each direction. So 2, 5, 5, 6, there's an 8 over here and that R would represent the 8 on this side. That's actually for infrared focus on this lens, but it's at the same place as the 8. 11, 16, and 22. The only one that's not marked is 4. and they're not always all marked on every lens. Okay, so let's set the aperture ring here to f2.5. So if we focus at infinity, then theoretically everything from infinity to maybe as close as about 30 feet, which is seven and a half, eight meters, will be in focus. That's because this is a, a 28 millimeter lens, by the way. These scales are spaced far further apart on wide angle lenses than they are on close lenses. For instance, this 50 millimeter lens here, you can see how much more closely these scales are spaced, but they're used in the exact same way. So for instance, let's say that we decide, well, we don't want to shoot at f2.5. Our shutter doesn't go that fast. We need f8. Okay. If we set infinity to the R, which is the f8 on this side, then we know that everything from this f8 to this f8 is in focus. That's everything from, well, let's call that just shy of two meters or maybe about six feet out to infinity. That's called zone focusing. What we're doing is we're picking an aperture and we're identifying everything in the zone between those two aperture numbers, and that's going to be in focus. If we picked f11, the zone would be everything from five feet to beyond infinity. Okay, so if we move infinity out to 11, then it's everything from about four feet to infinity. So the zone doesn't just have to end at infinity. Let's say we go back, let's say we stick at f11, because it's easy to see on this lens, right? And we decide we're going to take a very close up photo, and our subject is about two and a half feet away from us, maybe a little bit more than two and a half feet. If we set the aperture to f11, then everything from two feet out to just a hair past three feet will be in focus. That's the zone here at this focus point. With all lenses, the further you, the closer you are to your subject when you have it in focus, which is to say the further you rack out the lens, the greater the space between these and the shallower the depth of field is even with the same aperture. 28 millimeter lenses just happen to show that really well. That's, that's this concept of zone focusing. You can zone focus anywhere on this focus ring with the numbers that you select for your aperture, telling you what's going to be in focus from your given focus point. Hyperfocal distance is a type of zone focus. With hyperfocal distance, you stop down your lens to its smallest opening, which is the biggest number. In this case, it's f22. Some it'll be 16, 32, whatever it is, the smallest number. We're going to set the focus to have infinity at f22, just like that. And now everything from this f22 to this f22 will be in focus. So that's everything from 0.7 meters, which is, call it two and a half feet, out to infinity will be in proper focus with this setting at f22. 
that's the maximum amount that this lens can have in focus, the greatest distance, two and a half feet to infinity feet. That's this lens's hyperfocal distance. So that's how these scales work, and that's the difference between zone focusing and hyperfocal distance focusing. So next time you're using a manual focus lens, be it a new one or a vintage one, I hope this helps understand, helps you understand what those markings are and how to use them to influence and optimize your photography. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you in the next how-to video. Thank you everyone for watching. If this video was helpful and useful to you, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that I'm on the right track and that I'm producing and creating content which is helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave those in the comments section below. I'm pretty good about responding every couple of days and answering whatever questions you have to the best of my ability. If you'd like to subscribe to find out when I have more videos about how to use cameras, photographic techniques, or the best practices for the tools of the trade, by all means, please subscribe and check that notifications bell to be alerted when new content arrives. And one last thing, thank you everyone very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos.